So let's compare the Intel's Broadwell i5-5200U with the i3-5020U. Uh, both of them are Broadwell processors launched early this year when we are reviewing it. And if you look at their pricing, they are same at $281. So why would you buy a Core i3 for the same price? And the reason for this uh, could potentially have to do with the uh, configurable PDP down. That's what does not that does not look reasonable. The one thing that uh, that's better in Core i5-5200 is that it supports the uh, higher turbo. It does support the turbo clock frequency. It's not present in i3-5020U. So when you have sudden demand of high processing power, could the Core i5 can go at a higher clock and finish this task earlier than the Core i3 would. And it's also the advantage is it's also better configurable PDP down. It can go down to 7.5 watt. It cannot go down below 10 watt in Core i3. The integrated graphics is also the same and everything else looks same except for the support for the turbo boost in the core i5. We have what seems like the same so given the same pricing for a notebook you might want to go with the core i5-5200 u in place of i3-5020 u. You can also see that the benchmark is better for Core i5-5200U at 3509 compared to 3328 for, for i3-5020U. So unless you are getting substantially cheaper with netbook based upon Core i3-5020U, uh, you might want to keep the i5-5200U even if it's a tad better. I hope this review is helpful. Thanks for taking care.